Hello and welcome to Show Shop from the series in which myself and a guest go around classic football. So by, by this point, you already know how the series works. They get £500 to spend. They get to buy football shirts. There's a whole kind of plethora of shirts here. Classic football shirts have stores in London, Manchester, and they have thousands of items online from like £20 items all the way through to thousands of pounds worth of items. And if you use the code AWAYDAYS at checkout, you get 10% off. And also, huge thanks to them for sponsoring the series. And thanks to that, one of you can win a £50 voucher for the website just by commenting what you thought a guest's favourite shirt was in this video, as always. And speaking of our today's guest. Let's meet them. Ben Black, welcome to Shirt Shopping. Thank you so much. Happy Appreciate you having me. Yeah, I say I always look at you and I'm like, you and me, if I like was attractive, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, you for sure, yeah. We'll take that. Yeah, thank you very much. Right. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to go no at. Oh, don't you worry, you're already good looking. But you've got 500 pounds spent. I need to put the shirt straight away. There's a shop full of everything. Are you interested in more 90s, OOs, or more modern stuff? Uh, you know what, I'll be honest. I'm definitely more of a modern person, but I have a lot of respect for the retro stuff. Okay. So I, I'm more of a, if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. You've answered that like a politician. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, we're gonna find out. You try to break these, aren't you? <laughs> elbow in it. You've got 500 pounds to spend. I think we'll get right into it. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. Let's do it. Excited. I've never been here before either. Never, first So I'm very excited to go through everything. You lose this year. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that is beautiful. Two, two stars as well. Yeah, I know, it's exactly. It's very good. Very hard to get. It's messy on the back. Obviously, you. Oh, these have got messy on the back as well? Yeah, I've got messy on the back. Oh, you were obviously in Qatar. I went to every game. You went to every game. So, so I know you, but you sort of, you and Theo did the same thing. Nah, I didn't, to be honest, I didn't even know that he was doing it. Okay. We, like, we do the same thing, but we don't do yeah. the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we both went to every game, but what he kind of does at them is a bit different to what I do type of thing. And I, we both had a good time, so happy days, right? Was it tiring? Oh, I, I swear to you, I lost like a good few years of my life uh, <laughs> doing that. Like, it, it was mad. We were doing four games a day for like two weeks. Yeah, like, go into one, ask anyone who went there. They went to like, like one game a day or something. They're like, oh, I'm shattered. We were doing like four, I, I, yeah. Looking back, it's all like a bit of a blur, but. Best memory. Other than the fight, you can't Ooh. go to the final because the finals are like one of the best finals of all time. But people say, oh, what's the best game? Obviously, the, the final, but also Argentina versus Netherlands. Yeah, was that unbelievable? Yeah. That was unreal. Like, yeah. there's some good memories. Like, anytime England scored, that is just special. Yeah, I, uh, I have this weird stance to the World Cup. It's like, I could have stayed for the final, and my stance is, I will watch a World Cup final one day when England are there. Yeah. So I was like, I want to, and then I missed the best player of all time winning a World Cup. Yeah. So I've sort of fumbled that. So, a little then bit. There, there was a bit where I was like, obviously, 100% England. But if England are out, I'm, I'm going with Argentina. Because yeah. like, he's the GOAT. Have you got, I, the, you have, have you got the shirt? No. So I, I, you know what I did a lot of? I did a lot of swapping shirts. OK. So I gave my, I had like quite a few England shirts. And I was like, the whole tournament, I was swapping them. I did swap one for an Argentina t-shirt. But it was way too small, like most of my t-shirts now. But uh, I, I think I have to start off getting uh, one of these because I don't I, like, I don't have this shirt now. No way, it's very, very is, si what size are you? Uh, it's, oh, I have this debate as well, you know, sh medium. <laughs> like that. Nah, we'll, we'll probably go large. Like. Yeah. Whack up my arm. This is the modern section, but you like the modern ones a lot. I do, I, you know what? You're a like, Man City fan. I am, I'm a big Man City fan. How like, long uh, is that this is This is important, <laughs> right? Because I get this a lot. I, I have t-shirts when, well firstly, what all my life. football t-shirts, by the way? I don't know, I don't know what, remove, it should just remove, be shirts. Remove the tea, please it's remove the tea. Football shirts. If not, you will drive me mad for the next hour. Okay, the, the tea is gone. Yeah. But I've been a Man City fan all my life. Yeah. Uh, both my parents were Man City fans. I grew up near Manchester. And then I have the shirts with, uh, with like Thomas Kirk, uh, 
Like the proper, yeah, yeah. like, if, if you had a shirt with Thomas Cook on with Man City, that's how you know they were like a fan a, a long, yeah, long before, time ago. Before. Exactly. Like, but you get it with football fans, right? Like, I'm a Leeds fan, have been my whole life. As soon as Bielsa came in and we started doing well, I got called a plastic. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I, got called, I got called plastic. I was like, how can I grab me plastic? This club is just the most de depressing club yeah. in the world. Anyway, move on. Leeds are a good team, man. Yeah, yeah, great. Maybe not at the moment. Good if you want to have a sad time. Oh, you've got the, the third kit as well. Yeah. So th this year, I don't have either of these. Th this is a bit out there, though, isn't it? This, this is, is. This one is sick. And it's also, what are you fat, long sleeve or short sleeve? I'm a short sleeve guy. You're a short sleeve guy? 100%. But one thing, this is, oh, this is actually going to trigger some people. I, not I'm. Me. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of collars. <gasps> like, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I take it. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that, can I? No, you can, of course you can say that. You don't have to. People can say anything they want. I mean, this collar doesn't look too bad. It's no. just some are like. Uh, not for me. Yeah. Not for me. But uh, yeah, th this one gives me more of like a. Th this feels like it was made for kids. It looks a bit esportsy to me. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of esports shirts coming out now. Some no. of them are cool though. Some of them. Uh, if I had to, if I had to pick though, this the co I've seen a lot of people wearing this as well. Yeah. The colors are nice. It looks like it was made for Phil Foden. You know what I mean? It looks like yeah. Phil Foden would look class in that shirt. A long shirt. I've not actually seen the long shirt version of it. I tried to interview. Phil Foden once in the mix zone for the FA Cup and he walked past and said, sorry, I don't speak English. So, sorry, <laughs> Phil, you know, I'm not working for the FA anymore because I want, you know. This section you're in now, to be honest, is where we come at the end, worst case, because it's 30 pound and under. You know, it's, it's if you've got a, a bit left. I, I don't care about the price, you know. This is like, if t-shirts are cool, uh, if shirts are cool, they're cool. Yeah. But, I mean. What do you have exactly? <gasps> Corella Bastards! Corella Blast? Bastards! What, what, is that, what is that all about then? So, I, so basically I'm doing a series where I go to a game in every top league in the world and it's been nuts, literally been everywhere this year. And uh, not everywhere, still got a lot of places to go still. But we did a lot of like, um, like Saudi, Morocco, Egypt, India, South Korea. South Korea t-shirt, shirt's very cool. Yeah. Um, Corella Bastards though, biggest team in India. I went there, mad. They're, they're, like, I was not expecting it at all. Because everyone, in India it's cricket. Yeah. But they have a saying where, in India, cricket is the religion. Religion. In Corella, football is the religion. Really? Corella Bastards, biggest team out there. Their like fan base, insane. They have like a serious following. What's the, is it like limbs when they score, or is it? So they, they call it like the yellow wall, um, and I, I, I'll show you some videos because yeah. it is it is one of the best like footballing experiences I've ever had. You know what I loved about? I saw a video going around of um, an Indian team. Simon Grayson's their manager. Okay. He's like ex-Leeds manager, and it's the most random. And like the fans are just standing, Simon Grayson. <laughs> he does not. You don't get that with Simon Grayson, but yeah, either way. But Corella Vasquez, honestly, I think I have to. This section is always great because it's always it's always been refreshed, it's always been updated. For UK example, clubs. This Grimsby Town goalkeeper shirt. It doesn't. It's a bit of me. That is out there. It's you, outrageous. You're the type of person that likes out there shirts. Right? Yeah. Right here. Big time. Like, I'm not I'm not here to look classy. You can't be wearing that in the summer though. Oh, you I'll tell you why. I can't, I can't be wearing that in summer. I'll be miserable. You're taking it to your festivals. <laughs> I'm sure there's some city ones in here. Burnley. Yeah, oh yeah, they're, oh yeah. Sponsored Burnley for a bit. And Vincent Company manager. Yeah, it's not going great this season. Dude, dude perfect bought them, that's crazy. That's mad, isn't it? I went Burnley away first game of the year uh, with Man City. Great that? stadium. That's, yeah. it's good, man, it's fun. I, um, so how many games do you reckon you do a season on average? I have no idea. I, I did try and figure it out at some point because after the World Cup, that's 64 games. Yeah. Came home for a week, did two games, and then flew out to started doing like the tour of like everywhere, and we we're doing like seven games in like five days and stuff. You're not like, fatigued at any point. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's catching up on me now. Yeah. Is there not a point where you just want to have like a week or two off? Yeah. You really can't in this space. I don't think people appreciate like the hamster wheel of what we do. But also like. 
like in the whilst the season was off, I was like, oh, I'll have like a little break. But uh, there was a, I went and watched Al Ali in Egypt, biggest team in Africa, insane. They are good team. And then um, I also watched. Uh, see, this is what happens. Like you just, my brain just goes to absolutely scramble. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Messi's debut in the MLS. Yeah, I was there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, some of us were just in the stands, you I know, as a fan. So some of us were down with Kim Kardashian. Because, and... like, you know what it was? Like, it is, because it's him. I think it's maybe him and Bielsa are the only two people in the world that I would be like, oh, you get it? Like, I was like, oh. like, and, like, I've touched him on the back and forgot that my camera's by my side. And, like, because there was a guy with me who was supposed to get a photo of us, and he went. Because this girl, this little... <laughs> jumped in front... Sorry, but this isn't Ben's thing, this is mine. <laughs> he jumped in front of me. He'd never watched a game of football before. He's Parents have had like 20, 30k for the fee there. Jumps in front of him and goes, Leo, shoves a ball in his face and he gets him to sign it. And then he goes. He's like, this kid is never going to watch another football match in his life again. <laughs> he was like, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like you had to get that off your chest. <laughs> I did. He robbed me of a photo of Messi. I mean, I've touched Messi. You've yeah. touched the goat. Yeah. I've touched Luciano Bacchio. Didn't go to match. I look at the, obviously the Champions League would have been an amazing high. Yeah. When you win the league now, is it like, you've had it? Because like, the Aguero moment was such a way to win the league. I, I was behind the goal, I ran on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly, so it's like, you've had that, and that's the pinnacle. Yeah. The Shirley, the subsequent league, like last season was so done already. I, I don't know. Yes, you're saying, yes, you're saying it's more fun to be a Leeds fan, objectively. But, but like, okay, when you first start winning, after not winning anything and being a bad team, yeah. That is like special. Now it's just like you just witness to like this is greatness. This is <laughs> probably the best team ever alive, in my opinion. Did we get the Champions League final? Yes. What was that like for you? Well, I've got a scar down here from celebrating. Did like, you see that? That was from jumping up from the uh, after the goal went in. We were like behind the goal and I was just madness. Play. You see some videos online where they're like, oh, this is a Champions League goal. There's like no lip. There, there was limbs. Like, yeah. I, I, it was, the it problem, was good. The problem with as well, like you're, you're seeing it with the World Cup as well, and with the Champions League games, and the big games, because so many neutrals go to them, you're not yeah. going to have huge limbs all around the stadium. Yeah. But there'll be pockets of limbs where the fans actually. So are. Where, where I was originally sat, someone yeah. behind me was talking about, oh, do you play Fortnite build or no build? And I'm listening to this at like the biggest game of my life. Half time, I, I went down to like behind the goal, proper city fans. Yeah. I lost, limbs. I lost my mind at England France. Because I was in with the England fans, uh, but like the stewards kept telling us all to sit down, and I was like, "It is a World Cup quarter final. These people might never get to come to it, and like, it's a huge game, for yeah, them. A massive game. Like this squad we have now, uh, Harry be. Kane, uh, Harold. Um, we've got the ability to win a tournament. It's yeah. a good enough squad to win a tournament. So every game of that, I, was, I thought we were going to win it. I thought we were going to win yeah. it. I thought if we got past them, Morocco, um, fine, and then get through them. Um, I don't know which end fog them would have been for that one, you know. <laughs> What's your favourite shirt you, you own? Oh, is in like design wise or like. Just for whatever reason, you can only have one shirt now. Oh, the match worn Messi. You match worn Messi t shirt? Which team? Uh, he played for Barca and was in a friendly in 2012 against PSG. Very nice. It, it, it sounds a very simple process, but it was not a simple process to get it. It was the most mind numbing. You can, you can buy them, from, but they're really expensive, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So how did you end up, oh, a bit of Roma. Um, there's, there's a whole great video series I recommend you watching. It's a good process, process I went for it. <laughs> Involved getting scammed, scammed Half again, the rest of us. scammed again, and then not scammed, I think, I hope. So are you a fan of training wear at all, or is it just mainly shirts you're interested in? Uh, like this Juve sweatshirt, for example, would you? What's on that? I don't know if I'm cool enough to wear that. No, it's, 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 it's cool. You, you, yeah, you'd get away with it. I, like, I just wouldn't. Yeah, I'm cool. This is the definition of cool right here. <laughs> That's Neymar, isn't it? That, that, is, that is Neymar. Stinks of Neymar. Stinks of him, mate. What was it like meeting him? He's a cool guy, man. I, I, that's the third time I've met him. Did he recognise you this time? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I, 
obviously I would want to say yeah, but he, like, you see in the video, like he literally like kind of points and then comes over. And I did meet him three times. His dad came over and said hello. Really? Uh, I was in like a group of people and his dad came over and like said hello to me. So it's like... So you've met Neymar, Mbappe, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. What, what is it like getting these opportunities to film these amazing footballers? It's, it's cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, how, what, like, how else... What, like, there's not much to say. It's just like... It's kind of... They don't feel real. I don't know if that's yeah. like weird to I, say. I agree. They feel like these different level of people and then you get there and you're like, oh. It's just... Weird. Yeah, but they're, they're all like so sound as well. Because no. um, obviously I've, I've filmed with like a lot of players doing the Premier League gun cut, stuff like that. And you kind of, you do get used to it. But when it's like an Mbappe or a, a Ronaldo or a Neymar, that's when it's like, oh wait, this is, this is cool. This is pretty special. I need your, I need your opinion. Okay, if I was to choose one of them, I'd go for that because it's Messi's breakfast. Bre bre yeah. Oh, for, for, for this that kid's one. cooler. But if you prefer the cooler kit, get the cooler kit. Get the one you like more. Like you have to. That's how what you have to. Wait, wait, wait. If we go on for the one I like more, I just realised this one's in a large. That's beautiful, man. It is beautiful. What a shirt. Yeah, it's gotta be. Whack make it on them. Who's had like the worst, uh, like the worst choices? I think Cal Freezy got a lot of stuff for his. Didn't you get like a jacket or something? Well, he actually pulled that off really well. I think it was the other stuff he got wasn't great. So, I think um, Reed went quite run of the mill, um, but he also got stuff that was relevant to him. So I'm not, yeah. Everyone's, everyone's, that's the thing with this, like most picks people make are going to be good. It's just a shop full of good stuff. And also, you have to put a way to check out the <laughs> I've had some of these. Uh, um, some of these England t shirt shirts. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Now, let's, let's not take the piss here. I, I certainly wasn't. Well, I think you are. Uh, Mate, thank oh you. my days. Hello, this is going to go down as like an iconic t shirt. Yeah. Guarantees. I think I have to get this. Whack it on my arm. I know I've just did that whole spiel about Barcelona, but. No, no, you're fine, yeah. It's Bellinger. Yeah, it's just a nice spot in my heart. Exactly. But also, after what they did to us in the Champions League, I, 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 it took a while. It, it took a while. So on the um, on the debate after watching every episode, the Messi Ronaldo debate, you are oh, on the side no. of Messi. Oh, I, I'm really scared about the amount of like abuse I'll get for just choosing one. Because like I've met Ronaldo and I love Ronaldo, but. I do you tend to edge towards Messi? Yeah, but like, I, the real my, I don't know. It's just case it's... in point, like how he's lifted a very, very poor into Miami side to not be very, very poor. Yeah. Like, who's, the, who's the guy on the wing? Like Robert Taylor, is it? He suddenly scored like eight goals since Messi's been there. He was awful before actually. Like, that's how much he elevates people. But I mean, Al Nasser just won the, the trophy with Ronaldo. Yeah. Which, I, I, honestly, Messi. Yeah, oh. I know, I got it. <laughs> I'm impartial, mate. Impartial. Now, oh, there we go. Proper, proper football legends now. We've got Robbie Savage. Now oh, talk him. What a man. He's up there with idols for me. Yeah. yeah you, Icons you, you, you of, the of the game. the game. Barton Allen Smith, long sleeve leads. That's a bit of you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like smaller. I don't know if I'd be able to pull it off. It's also, I'm not a fan of the fact there's no sponsor on it. This is your show anyway, you go. Uh, yeah. Oh, mate, did, like this shirt is... That's the Ronaldo shirt, right? Yeah. Is he on the back? It's Dybala. Oh, it's a shame that that's not in a, a medium, because I'd be all over that. What a boy, Paolo. Are you feeling judged by me? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In, what, in what sense? I'm not a retro guy, you know. Yeah, but you're just—I think you're feeling pressure that isn't there. So I actually have this kit, which is uh, Nike did it when they ended their sponsorship with Man City. Yeah. They did all of their kits combined into one kit. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've literally never seen anyone wear it. I, I don't know where you can get it from, but I have I have one of them. That's probably a pretty special one. What is your favourite kit of all time? 
Uh, that's, that's a hard question, man. Um, I might just say the Man City travel winning, because that has yeah, like meaning behind it. Yeah. yeah, it's a very sick kit as well, the centralised badge. Yeah, yeah. the centralised badge as well, like, we've never done, it just, oh, it was all, it was meant to be. Um, let's do some quick fire questions. So, okay. favourite song of all time? <laughs> like, chant or just? No, as in music, song, song. Uh, Smash Mouth All Star. Yeah, favourite movie of all time? <laughs> Um, Batman, uh, The Dark Knight. Favorite TV show of all time? Yeah. Like the in-betweeners. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you grew up in England, if you grew up in England, that's yeah. got to be up there. Yeah. Well, fair enough. There we go. Quick There's some up, solid quick fire questions. Well, there's not really anything you can really go with quick fire. It's like we're on a first date. Yeah. Is FC Saint Paul? Pauli, they play in Germany. They're Hamburg's rivals. I can actually speak German. Can you? I lived in Germany. Could you say <laughs> Leeds United are massive in German? <laughs> I, I don't know if I can say that just from like a, a person. <laughs> <Moral standpoint. laughs> um, Leeds United's in sehr groß. <laughs> You've not said what I wanted to say, have you? Have you? Uh, no, I said they're very big. That's no, good, yeah. They're very big, it's decent. You know what? This kit is just beautiful. Yeah, is there a Dybala on the back? Oh, it's... But you can put it on my arm, and then she's like... And then at the end, I can, I can chop and change it. Yeah. You've got quite a collection so far. Oh, mate. Is that a Gerard on the back? 2004 Sinclair. Sinclair. Jesus. That is... Wait. I think... I actually had this one. I did. That's Beckham, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Euro 2004 is the first tournament I remember. Fair enough. How, how was, old are you? I'm 25. We're the same age. Yeah. We're the same sort of like era, like uh, football-wise. Yeah. You, you had this one as well, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Who's on the back? Uh, Lampard. Ooh. That gives me Gerard vibes when I think I about that. I was thinking that. about Gerard yeah. then as well. I'm just going to let you keep clicking back. Ooh, Celtic. Can't, obviously, my, uh, my Scottish team would be... I mean, I can't really. I was say, say, I'm, not saying, I'm not imagining you're the kind of guy who's going to go Rangers or Celtic right now based on all your other answers. No, I, I mean, it'd be uh, Ross County, maybe. Really? My middle name is Ross because I was born in Rosshire. Uh, okay. I was like the first kid born in Rosshire that year, so. It's like, it's like in the Highlands. Like, yeah. there's probably. I might have been the only kid born in that, that year. So, how, was, how have you ended up in this situation you're in? Do you reckon? Uh, yeah. Obviously, a snowball effect where you go around the world now for football games. Uh, what was the breaking point? No, like, no, oh, God, this is actually a thing. No, because I was making a lot of football videos of me like doing freestyle tricks and yeah. stuff. Uh, but I had a knee injury, so I had to stop playing football and like stop all of the freestyle and everything. Uh, and then it's like, oh, well, how, what videos do I make? And then the World Cup happened. It's kind of perfect. You kind of just fall into it. And then it was like, well, everyone knows me for going to football games. Might as well... Do it and then pivot into it full time. Yeah, and then I, I think that I kind of... You see, my whole idea is it is to show people, in, uh, primarily in England, what football's like abroad. And yeah. play, Cause I didn't know what football was like in Egypt or India. I think that's a pretty cool concept. But I mean, at the moment, I just smile at a game and then turn the camera. So I should probably get a bit more creative with it. But uh, yeah, that's that's where it is at the moment. I reckon you've got enough here. To I was going to say, this, this is... Up quickly while you're just doing that. You are currently like bang on, like five. 10, which is fine. Oh, that's perfect. Should we get you trying them on? I will happily try them on. <laughs> oh, a bit of hair on the pole. <laughs> it's a disaster. Oh, it looks lovely. No sponsor, I just realised. I think it looks, it's usually like a sponsorless shirt. Yeah. It looks very clean. It looks like you could wear that out and it's not so football y. This feels like, to me, like I'd go to the gym. Yeah. It's like a, a train, to, train shirt. Yeah, that's very nice. But this was the last one. Last one? Last one. And you're happy with everything? Happy with every single one. Let's get him checked out. Come on. Come on.
Ben Black, you are the first guest to hit. You've got 499.99. Almost as if we found it. Almost. <laughs> right, people, you've got some good shirts there. Let us know in the comments what you thought Ben's best shirt was. Also, be sure to follow him on all socials, uh, Instagram, YouTube, everything else in the description down below. Thank you so much for coming on. Everyone that comes on has to recommend a guest. Ooh, recommend a guest. Oh, oh I, um, I didn't really think about this. Uh, a YouTuber, right? Uh, Will Any, has he done it before? He's not done it, so... Yeah. He, he would love his Newcastle stuff. He would, yep. But yeah, and if you're watching Will, you now have to feel the pressure to come on even if you don't want to. So, <laughs> once again, if you want to win a 50-pound classic football shirt, well, come on, what shirt you got. Thought Ben's best purchase was in the comment section down below. And also, if you use the code away, you check out, you get 10% off at classic football shirts. I've been Ellis, and I'll see you very soon for more football shirt content and more away days. Ciao, ciao. Bye.